Actually, so you were looking on how to find your correlation using technology for this problem here. So we have um, Lyme disease um, is an inflammatory disease that results in a skin rash and flu-like symptoms. Uh, the following data represent the reported cases of Lyme disease and the number of drowning deaths and for a rural country. So they're trying to see if there's a correlation between these two things, Lyme disease and drowning. Um, so the first thing is you had to choose the correct scatter plot. And this can be tough because looking at the data itself, you don't want to have to plot out everything. So StatCrunch can even help with this as well. So if we click on the icon to view the data, so this is your cases of Lyme disease and your drowning deaths, and they've put the month here as well. If you click this little blue box in the top right hand corner, you can then open the data in StatCrunch and it imports the data for you. Um, so one nice thing that I can do here to see which graph it's supposed to be is I can make the scatter plot. So if I click graph and then go down to scatter plot and then I have my x variable, I'll say cases of Lyme disease on my x axis, drowning deaths on my y axis, and then I can click compute. And then once you have this, you can you know, copy and paste it somewhere so that you can go back and compare, um, or you can minimize your windows and then go back and compare it. So it should have actually been B here. Um, so that's a nice way to take a look at that. Um, let me see if I can get my stat crunch back. There it is. Okay, so now we have to go ahead and find the correlation. So to do that, we're going to go to stat. Um, we can go to summary stats, and we can go to correlation. And if I click correlation, I can select the columns that I want to use, right? And I want to find the correlation between the two um, variables here, Lyme disease and drowning deaths. So use your shift button and click drowning deaths as well because we want them both to go to this side um, of my column. Um, then I'm going to just click compute. And it gives me my correlation between cases of Lyme disease and drowning deaths is 0.95822675. Now they want you to round to three decimal places, so I would call this 0.958. I hope that helps, and if you have any more questions on that, please let me know.